just leave that for a laugh. See what happens, if anything. Right, so, oh, hey guys, Jimbo TV here, back with this Dark Souls playthrough, and I'm being summoned apparently. So, um, I wonder if we're going to fight Gaping Dragon again, but with friends. World of the Fallen. Is that this guy? Who is he summoning? <laughs> he's summoning two of us. Wow, he's really not confident. Got a grass crest shield and everything as well. But what he's doing. And I can't skip this. Resume that's in his hands. Make sure I don't ruin his fight. I love the colouring. All the purples and pinks and you know, the iridescence of the scales. Probably not the high, most high res texturing, but I think it's really well done. Oh, I see, I can't, I'm not even in there yet. Oops. What's the lair doing? coming my way, is he? Fine. No, he's changed his mind. Oops, I lost a lock on. Ah, oh, he got the tail. Lucky, lucky boy. Who is that shooting from above? Is that the channeler? Has he not killed the channeler? Oh, move. Oh, crap. <laughs> I got locked into the spell. Great. We didn't do a very good job. Right, so I'm all the way back here. Am I now dead? Don't quite get how it works. No, I'm not. Right, so um, between kind of the last episode and this episode and doing that. I did go back briefly, and I'll show you that now. Ah, why, that's a fine ember you have there. Indeedy I could doodly. some mighty weapons with one of those. Why not lend it to me? Magnificent! You won't be disappointed. I can hardly wait to get started. Speaking of that, Raw, fine, standard. Okay. Seven plus eight. Not bad. While I'm at it. Yourself, 
Well, uh, you... Okay. And while I'm here, if I'm gonna be using spider shield a bit, maybe I should upgrade it. Plus one, two, maybe? See what that gets me. Right, so I would need a full three more to get it to plus five. That's still a reasonable upgrade. So yeah, we have a plus seven or eight, I can't remember, sword. And a plus four shield. All helpful. I kind of want to give that another go, if I'm honest. I haven't really done too much co-op or... Um, actually, can I just run? Is that something I can do? Are they just going to ignore me? And I hope so. Right, so... Which one was it? The white one. I think we got all the pickups that were down there. And there was a set of armour or something. Nothing I'm too worried about. Certainly not just delaying going to Blight Town, it's nothing like that. Nothing of the sort. No, 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 no. No, I'm just admiring the view. Lovely sun rays. Broken columns. I don't know how many buildings can have broken columns to that extent that the ceiling is still intact. But what do I know about architecture? Nothing at all. I think there's a, like a red phantom we have yet to encounter. I'm going to try and encounter them further below. Not quite up to where the basilisks are, but kind of near there, unfortunately. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, let's see if I can get some humanity though, that would be nice. Maybe not to happen, but... No. Okay, well, fair enough. Um, and then after we've encountered the Red Phantom, yeah, I'm going to have to carry on into Blight Town. And I'll admit, I'm not actually... Well, I wouldn't say I'm not worried. I imagine I you know, may well die a few times, but I'm not. it was never my least favourite area, unlike some people. I think uh, Tomb of the Giants and kind of that whole graveyard area in general were far less popular in my mind. Um, other than that, I don't know, the Crystal Caves kind of sucked for different reasons. Alright, no luck there. Right, so I think down here where the super aggressive rats are is maybe where we will encounter it. Oh Christ, he can jump a long way. He almost like he jumped around a corner. Yeah, cut that out. I'm starting to get used to actually having the, uh, what do you call it, the wand catalyst on the other hand. I thought it would kind of be a pain, but it really isn't proving to be too much of an issue after all. Don't know if any of these have surprise rats in or not. Doesn't look like it. And I think it's around here that we encounter it. But there's our first basilisk. Let's see if I can just kill it. Maybe, but not like that. Smoke effects are way better in this version. Don't give me that rubbish. Kind of hoping I would have encountered it already. And there's nothing here, I think this is just where you fall down. I'll wait around a little while and walk around a bit, but 
nothing's really happening, I'm not going to stay forever. Not sure if that's a basilisk or it's a lump of slime. Pretty sure I am human. I'm human, aren't I? Yeah. Do I have to fall down for it to happen? I'm not entirely sure on the mechanics. Yeah, I don't think too many more active basilisks we can encounter unless we actually run through there. I wonder if I can hit this one through the fence. Apparently so. Oh, and he's dropped something too. Mm. Not sure it's worth taking, to be honest. Be wary of danger zone. Beware of random 80s music. May just pop up. Ugh, disgusting. I don't know, as this is a red phantom, like an AI red phantom. Oh, excellent. Um I don't really I think I don't think I need to be online for them to appear. What, I don't, what reason for that? But I keep messing my words up. There's going to be so much I have to cut out. No? There we are. I'm just going to farm these guys for, well, just while I'm waiting, really. I think they can drop certain grades of tide tonight, I don't have too much of. I think the drop rate though is quite low. I'm not willing to farm forever. There is a ring you can get later which greatly increases drop rate. And maybe when I get that I can come back here off stream and collect some humanities, collect some titanite grades if I, do, if I still need them. Phantom is not appearing there. Okay, I'll do a quick run through here. Around the corner and back and then if nothing I'm not gonna wait. Surprised they haven't shown up already. Ugly eyes. Feels like I could risk going in here for fun. Probably not a smart idea though. Eye of death. Indeed. I'm not rerunning this whole route just for this. Fine, if the red fountain doesn't want to come hang out. My skin off my nose. Head off. But I think four and a half thousand souls is really too much to worry about. I don't think I can level up with that. I don't think I can. You don't have anything worth selling for that price, do you? Hi, shall I? We meet again. Indeed, we do. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. No dialogue options. I'm thinking maybe some more would appear after I've beaten the boss, but guess not. Oh wow, the cheapest thing's 10,000. Can't compare directly though from the purchase menu, so physical defense 14, I don't know. Well, that is a shame. 
But no man, come back again. Not every there'll be Yeah yeah. I don't really know what that means. Fourteen physical defense. What do these have? Tw oh, okay, well. They are upgraded, but twenty nine is quite a jump. I okay. I think there's gonna be a really drastic colour temperature change. <laughs> Like mid sentence. Controller vibrated there like it had a small engine in it. Very odd. Can't see any. Oh, okay, there's one guy over there just above my helmet. The only thing I can really remember out this area is if there's a torch, there may well be a ladder. Not always, but like, not like that. But I mean, like, like that. I think he does like a jump forward attack. When he does other attacks, obviously, that's what I meant. Oof! He inflicts me with poison. I think. I don't know if there's a ledge behind me. Christ, I nearly fell off there. Can I kick? No. Well, I can, but what I mean is I won't knock him too big. So that's what I was aiming for all along. I just really don't want to... I really don't want to fall off. No. Dung pie. Lovely. What's that? Turns enemy toxic but also affects player. Tox is pretty dangerous for using on one enemy. Atrocious fecal waste material. Thrown at enemy to put up toxins, but also builds up your toxicity. Although the stench makes it difficult to carry on one's person, why are we carrying it? Turning an enemy toxic inflicts high damage over a period of time. I've got a feel that down here maybe the enemy is uh, not immune, resistant to toxic. What was that? Dark Spirit A Intellectual has faded. I think that's um I don't think that's an NPC NPC. Oh! Right, okay, hi. I thought it'd be ahead of me. Hmm, sad face. <laughs> okay, well um I? <sighs> I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm hoping maybe that I'll be invaded here again by the NPC. Well, now that that's happened, we know that the invasion mechanic is working. It's just um, a little janky. trying to threaten me with it there. <laughs> Wave this torch in your face, get back, thou, thou fiend. Yeah, that invader, I didn't even see him. I, I assumed he'd be ahead and then he's turned around, or went to turn around, and he was already ahead of me. Behind me, I should say, but he was already there. That's what I mean. That backstab took my entire health bar down in one go. Must be a very upgraded we uh, axe or weapon to do that. Get lost. Get lost. Well, that replaces the humanity we just lost. No skin off my nose, really. That gives us a bonus humanity. So despite everything, we're actually one up. Right, I'm not going to bother with the spell here. Got a 
away. Okay, this NPC invader is not interested. Free souls is free souls. You think you normally keep the invaders away or struggle to? They just keep piling in, but nope. The person is not interested in invading. How strange. Except maybe I need to drop down before it will do it. Where is that? That's... Is that where the giant rat is? Maybe I'll head that way and drop down. And this is another chance to get some humanity actually, so not too bad. As long as I don't fluff it up and get killed by some standard enemies. These guys are a little more timid than their slightly larger brethren downstairs. Clingy too. No. I suppose I should save these for Blight Town, really. Don't know why I'm using them here. Laziness, I think. No, no humanity for all of those. Ugh. I could take the other right there, but there's a drop. Oh, no, I've never been very good at getting across them. Oops, I used that prematurely by a mistake. No humanity at all. I suppose I shouldn't complain, I've already got two. Oops. I think I killed the rat that was in the box. Nope, no humanity there either. Okay. Right, I think there's two more rats. One here. Yeah, that's the, the drop there. There's a slime that way, but I'm okay. See, these ones are far more timid. Right, the large rat does not reappear. Right, so I think there's only the one area we can drop in from here. That's the area we've already kind of cleared out. The basilisk on the left, there was. The rats ahead. Nope. No. Okay, or okay, well, whatever. Not going to spend any more time doing this. Boring. No. Ooh, interesting. Getting a bit, uh, a bit sassy this one. I wasn't sure if that rat was attacking me. No, no humanity. Right. 
We've used an Estus, but we got the extra, so we're not down anything. Be careful I don't fall off the edge. Idiot. And if I get invaded, look behind me. There is at least the possibility that they are there. And of course, my soul, so I should have thought about that. But I did not. Can I bring this guy up here and get behind him? Okay. I suppose I can fall down. Oh, I can indeed fall down. Right, I thought... Okay, I thought the uh, ledge was right against the wall. Right, I'm not turning him this time, I'm not interested. Whoops. Oh, I don't know the camera angle there, that's a bit distracting. Can I just run for it? I suppose I can. Maybe I'll kill the rat. No humanity. Sad face. Alright, so I didn't realise the knockback from those guys was quite so large. Live and learn. Yeah, go down. Oh, it is kind of against the wall. I guess I was, um... Oh, no. Sorry, no. It's um, one down there. Yeah, there is a gap, isn't there? Okay. Well, that was lucky. Did. And I hit the roll button, not the attack button. The hell was that all about? Another one in the wings. Still not dead. Ow. <laughs> That's fine. No backstab. Seriously. Go to hell. I said go to hell. Lucky these guys are so slow. And that these other chaps are so fast. Yeah, you can't hit them while they're recovering. I suppose that's good. Otherwise you could just chain them and you'd, you'd be able to beat everything that way. Someone getting very animated down there. Aha! That looks like a grab mover, I don't like the look of that. Good hell. Right. Yeah, we're here, are we? Poison dart man. Do not do that. No. No. Mission for that kind of shit denied. I should have hit, I would have thought. It's not. Right. Now what's down here? This is what I mean though. You see a fire designates ladder. Not always, but I'm pretty sure every ladder has one. So that if you can't find a ladder, look for a fire. And you probably found a ladder if you find one. 
Certainly it works conversely, I don't think there is a ladder that doesn't have a fire. Right, so two swings and a large attack kills them. Soul of a proud knight. Proud but dead. I don't have a frame encounter on anymore, you may notice. I think really much the game was running solid at 60 until it was you know, kind of loading an area. That's kind of on my computer and I think the recording. God, that made me jump. Okay, so we got a... Uh, Well, that's a horribly built bridge. Oh, hi. And two large attacks kills as well. Right. As long as we know. That doesn't look very safe. That bridge is definitely safe. Right, I'm down there, but maybe we should go left first. Duck to the left and move, move to the right. Try, ju try jumping. I don't know, maybe that's the only way to get to that item. What's the lead? Oh god, just! An Aito? Aito? I don't... Yeah, Aito. 300 bleed as an auxiliary. B scaling in dexterity, but no scaling in strength. What was its damage, sorry? 88, not a bad starting damage. So it's a katana. Katana forged in an eastern land, the katana is drawn from the scabbard at lightning speed using an aijutsu. Apparently, technique. Aijutsu allows the wielder to charge forward to swiftly cut down distant foes. Guys over there, if you can see the tip of my sword. And a bonfire. Lovely. Now, how the hell do I get down from here? No fires. I guess there's no ladder. You just go this way. Now, there is a ladder here. Let's, uh, let's bonfire first. I'm not that crazy. Eleven thousand, is that enough to level up? I think it probably is. Maybe take my endurance up and want my vitality. Vitality might be quite nice. And I meant to not do that. Seven thousand four hundred to level up again. Let's go backwards first and see what's this way. Do we no we don't have a ladder there. We do have one. Oh, hi! Well, let's wait for these uh, fine fellows on the edge here. Kick their flipping teeth in. And if you can jump around this corner, I will be impressed. Oh, I messed it up. Close enough. A large soul of lost undead. I've never seen those as pickups before. Must be a new thing. Not for necessarily the game, but for areas. I'm sure maybe I encountered it before, but I don't remember. There's an item to the left. Oh yeah, that looks flippin' safe. Amarag is not going to do any favours, is it? A, oh, three blooming purple moss clumps. I don't know if I ever picked that up before. That's really going to be depending on how badly we do. But as you can see, maybe from the previous encounter, the shield actually does protect quite well against the old uh, poison dart. I don't like the look of this. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, hell. Hi. 
Jesus, you need some antacids. Doom that just says jump. No. Bad puppy. Right, can I go up from here or is it just this level? There is stuff above me. That fire is certainly not leading anywhere. Right, that bridge looks incomplete. I think this is just for the pickup that I'm not overly keen on. One humanity. Pretty precariously placed. I do say so myself. Which I do, because it's only me playing. Okay. Be watchful. Oh my god, what are you doing? Maybe I should have done that slower. But I'd rather get it over and done with quicker. Right, so we don't need to go back anymore. Is that done with? I'm actually looking at the time, maybe that's that episode done with. I'm just going to stop here at the bonfire. It's not enough souls, but that's fine. Um, does anything need repairing? No. Nope. Desperately, no. Okay, but thanks for watching, guys. And next time on this playthrough, we'll carry on through the misery of Blighttown. Joy. See you then.